Any web application you create typically tends to have user interaction. When the user interacts with your application, events are fired. For example, mouse clicks, mouse over, key press, change event, and so on. The application must handle such events and execute the necessary code. In this video, let's see how to handle events in React. We will focus on just the click event, but the concept holds good for other events as well. Let's begin with functional components. I'm going to create a new file called functionclick.js. Within the file, I am going to create a new functional component using the React snippet RFCE. As part of the HTML or JSX, I will add a button that says click. Next, let me add the component in the app component. So within the return statement, function click. Make sure to import it as well. If you save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the click button. When the user clicks on this button, a click event is fired. Our goal is to capture that click event and execute some basic code. The first point you have to make note of is React events are named using camel case rather than lower case. In plain HTML and vanilla JavaScript, you would specify on click. But in React, it has to be camel cased. So C has to be uppercase on click. The second point is with JSX, you pass a function as the event handler rather than a string. So instead of click handler, Within double quotes, we are going to have click handler within curly braces. Now let's define the click handler function. Remember in JavaScript, it is very much possible to define a function within another function. So inside the functional component, we can define our click handler. So function click handler and within the body, we simply log to the console, button clicked. Let's save this and test it out. If I open the developer tools and the console tab and click on the button, you should see the message button clicked in the console. Our click event handling works as expected. Now, let me point out one of the more common mistakes we as beginners tend to make with event handling. In our code, you can see that on click, we pass the function as the event handler. Pay close attention to the absence of parentheses. If you do add parentheses, it becomes a function call, and that is not what we want. We want the handler to be a function and not a function call. Let's quickly see what happens if we do leave the parentheses. I'm going to save this and go back to the browser. And you can see that in the console, the message button click is already logged. And this is not from our previous button click. So I'm going to clear the log, refresh. You can see that button clicked is already logged. And now when I click on the button, nothing happens. No message is logged in the console. Now this scenario becomes worse in class components when your click handler changes the state of the component. The component constantly re-renders and you might see an infinite number of messages in the console. So what I want you to keep in mind is that the event handler is a function and not a function call. Do not add the parentheses. All right, next let's take a look at event handling in class components. I'm going to create a new file 
called classclick.js. And within the file, I'm going to use the React snippet RCE to create a class component. I will get rid of the named export and include the component in app component. Again, make sure you import the component at the top. In the class click component JSX, I will simply add a button with the text click me. If you take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the button. Now adding a click event handler in a class component is very similar to functional component. We have the on click attribute. In camel case, of course, and this is going to be equal to curly braces and within the curly braces, the handler. But in a class component, methods will be accessed using the this keyword. So this dot click handler. Now we can define the method in the class. So right above the render method, click handler. And we simply log to the console, click the button. Again, make sure you don't add parentheses to the handler. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, when I click on the click me button, you should see the message clicked the button in the console. So that is basically how you handle events in a functional component and a class component. Camel case for the event and specify a function or a method within curly braces. Event handling looks pretty simple right now because we are not doing much in our event handler. But generally, your event handlers tend to modify the state of the component using this dot set state method. And when you try to do that, you kind of run into a whole world of confusion. All that confusion revolves around this keyword binding in JavaScript. So let's take a detailed look at binding event handlers in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.